Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to resize an image. We're gonna be doing two different resizes. One of them is to just basically take a large image, like 5,000 pixels, and to bring it down to something like 1,900 pixels, reducing the overall size of it. The other way is to sort of create a box and then put the image into that box by trimming off certain edges so that it fits into the new box. Think like if you had a web banner or something and you wanted to make an image that fits that web banner. First thing we do is we import our photo. This is a photo off of Envato Elements, a great subscription service that allows you to download an unlimited amount of stock footage, photos, anything like that. If that's interest you, check out the link in the description below. Our first resize we're gonna be doing, like I said, is to resize just the overall image. So once you import your image, go down to image size, image, image size right here. You'll see that over here we have 1920 by 1080. That's the size of this image. We then have the ability to just reduce it. You want to make sure this is selected where the little brackets are coming out. This is going to lock the aspect ratio. If you don't have that, you'll see that it stretches it out. We don't want that. So if we lock the aspect ratio like so and then bring it down to like let's say 1500, it just makes it a smaller image. You click OK. You can see that the size was dropped. If we then go to File, then Save As, we can just save it right like so as a .jpeg or whatever it was saved, whatever was imported as. You're good to go. If we want to resize it the other way though, where we actually like create a box, it's a tad bit more complicated, but not too bad. In the bottom right here in layers, or find wherever layers are, you can actually go up to window and click on the layers tab if it's not highlighted and it'll bring it up and bring it into focus like so. And this little box right here, or this little lock right here, you wanna click on that. That is gonna undo the lock on this and it's gonna make it not a background, but a layer now. What this does is it's going to prevent trimming, and I'll explain that in a second. We're then gonna go up to image, canvas size. Right here, you'll see that it's in inches. If you're working with web content, just switch this to pixels. It'll make it a little easier for you, um, but you can switch it to whatever you want. From here, let's say that we have a very specific dimension. We have a width of, I don't know, 900 and a height of 300. Again, sort of going off that web banner idea. We click OK, and you'll see that it trimmed our canvas size down, but because we unlocked the background, we can move this image within this new canvas. If we had this still locked, it would have trimmed all of this off and there'd be no data left and this would be your only image you could get out of this, which we don't wanna do. So now that we have this all ready to go, when we click on the image, we can drag it around and actually fit it into our box. I'm gonna drag it down a touch. All right, let's try to get all their faces in. Right like so. Now you'll see that you're sort of locked into this still. Uh, click enter key and it'll get you back out of there so you can start selecting other things. Once you're done, your image has been resized, you're happy with how it looks, go up to file, not save as this time, we wanna go export, export as. You'll see that we have the new dimensions right here, the scale, it's gonna try to do a different format than probably you want, so go up to the format, I'm gonna change it back to JPEG, you can change the quality of it, and then once you're ready, click on the export button and it'll export it out to wherever you want and you are good to go. So that's how you resize an image in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button. Thanks everyone and until next time, see ya.